this is something that 30 years ago, I was just writing an article about this. 30 years ago, it was just known that hummingbirds couldn't survive up here in the United States in the wintertime. They would freeze to death. If you saw one in the wintertime, it was too stupid to fly away or it was too sick to fly away. That's all gone. The research ah. over the last 30 years, which I was fortunate enough to be part of, mm -hmm. shows that no, uh, well, a lot of these birds can survive quite well in cold weather. And uh, some of the birds in the west, instead of flying south for the winter, fly to the east, and especially the southeast. So in the southeast, we started finding a lot of birds that were western species. We'd find them in the wintertime. So we tell everybody, keep your feeders out all year. Keep at least one hummingbird feeder out there. How many do you keep? I keep two. Do I keep you? one in the front and one in the back. Yeah. And you don't have to change it quite as often because it's chilly outside. The nectar doesn't go bad so quickly. But I always keep a, a feeder or two out during the wintertime in case. I've had three or four western species uh, over, oh, 20 years. Yeah. You know, it's been a long time. But a lot of people have these, and they report them into people, and like your local bird store, and uh, you can call the Audubon Society. They'll get you in touch with somebody who will come out and check out your occurrence of a hummingbird during wintertime. Uh, don't do it until at least November, November, December, January, and February are great months. If you see a hummingbird yeah. at your feeder and you're not living on the southern coast, call somebody and let them know yeah. and, and they may be interested in seeing what kind it is. Georgia started out, when I mentioned that 30 years ago, we had one species, the ruby-throated hummingbird. Now we have 13 species wow. known to be in this state. Wow. Uh, the ruby throat in the summertime breeding uh -huh. here and then the other 12 come in here in the wintertime and spend some time in Georgia as they move through or as they hang out here. Yeah. So it's really been an amazing process of learning yeah. by people keeping their feeders out and reporting what they see. Hello, this is Richard Cole. I want to thank each of you for watching and I want you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to share it.